you can be an architect of oxytocin by simply learning how can you create the right kinds of connections with the people that you're talking to as you're delivering a difficult conversation. Why? Because if they're experiencing oxytocin, they're going to be less negatively impacted. Why? Because oxytocin also helps us to trust other people more. So if they trust you more, then a difficult conversation is going to land significantly better. Part of the reason that adrenaline and cortisol uh, don't help us to listen well is also because we feel that we're being threatened. Therefore, threat is pretty much the opposite of trust. Sometimes people can actually be addicted to arguments or addicted to fighting because they get a kick out of it, right? So if you get a kick out of, well, if you get a kick out of difficult conversations, you're probably not watching this video. You're probably, you know, relishing it. You're like, I don't need to handle difficult conversations. I love difficult conversations. They're the best. I love giving people bad news. I love giving people negative feedback. I love criticizing. I love telling people something's not going to work out. I love saying no to people. Oh, it's the best. If you're that kind of person, please never watch any of my videos. That's terrifying.